Field eight there on the left, the big field. That's the one that we were sowing overnight. See it's sprouting already. Must be accelerated crop growth on or something because I'm sure you always well actually it could be weeds the same as that one. Um I'm sure you always got a day with nothing poking through before growth started. See if there's anything coming that way. Got that pillar in the way. I have to assume it's clear. Ooh, this bridge looks a bit rickety. Sure, we want to cross over this too often. check the map again this is a route I'm not too familiar with that's number five so straight along to the end of field five zig right and left get round to field three and that's all part of the playable area of the map over there look this map is a lot bigger than people give it credit for they sort of they get stuck in that little valley where we start and they never get out and look at the rest of the map and it I mean it is a huge map and it's got a lot of different biomes and terrains in it and it's very much well worth doing a full playthrough on and getting out and doing all the contracts in different locations and checking out all the different non-field plots that you can buy like all of those hills up there you can buy them and you can turn them into forestry there's no fields on them I hope we get through here before they decide to drop the barriers um, yeah, there's another one of the railway um, store and deliver points Good way to move product around the, the map is on the railway, apparently. I've never ever used one myself. But I'm told it's one of the best ways to move product around. Uh, what? I'm getting some... Horrible frame stutter there. Right, now we'll stay out of his way. We'll park over here a bit to give him space to turn around. And I'm going to jump to another tractor. Not that one. This one. This one's got to go back to the farm. I'd rather have it at the farm and know where it's at than have it sitting out here. We'll just get this one back and then we'll carry on with bailing that field and I'll probably almost certain well probably almost certainly <laughs> oh god sort your English out guys I almost certainly will time lapse that um, bailing on that field because the video is going to get a bit long if I don't so I'll also probably time lapse this guy going home and join you in the uh, 7200 across there bailing that field I'll see you in a minute
So there we are. That's uh, that's the little international and the seed tender put away, washed, and the national serviced. It's ready for the next job and refueled. Now we're back on this field. I'll probably time-lapse this through to the end. So oh, there we are ladies and gentlemen, back at the farm with the uh, the baling tractor, which I'm going to give a quick service and refuel, put the baler away and then we'll go on to the bale collecting. And quick detour showing you some of my favourite spots on the map, which have got absolutely no impact on the playability of, of the, uh, the map, they're just purely there for decorative function. And I must say, they really do make the, the map come alive, for me at least. So, I hope you enjoyed those views. There might be parts of the map that you've never seen yourself, because you never ventured out there. A lot of people never get out of this valley, which we just viewed from the top of the cliff up there, next to the Alamo. And, um, you got to admit, it was a stunning view. Right, so that's the tractor uh, and the baler repaired and the tractor refueled. The the baler put in here. Let's see if we can do it properly from sitting in the cab. Oops, forward, forward, forward. Straighten up a bit. Turn the wheels. Not that much. That's better. That's a bit better. Yeah, in you go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Here you go. We'll start getting you moved into the side over there. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. We'll try you on that side then. 
Maybe not. Maybe we'll go on that side. <laughs> Making a right dog's dinner of this, guys. I think that's about as far back as it goes. Drop it off there. Right, and this one. We should actually be using this one to tow the, the bale trailer. This has got the bigger engine. But doesn't really make that much difference. They're both perfectly capable of hauling that trailer. Just on the hills this one might pull it a little bit faster. A bit there. Make sure we've got space that side. Yeah, we should get the other one in there. Right, let's jump across to the other one. Over here somewhere, there it is. Oops. Right. Oh, must be starting to rain. Yeah, it's telling us it's going to rain. We got this harvesting done just in time. And of course, the, uh, the bales will be done... I need to, I do need to bring the menu up for the trailer um, because it's got so many different um, positions on the same key for B for operating position and I need to go external view make sure that I'm picking the bales up correctly as we go around um, did say that we were going to get rain earlier which is why I kind of rushed to get the harvesting in I'm not in so much of a rush to, to move the bales because they're wrapped. They now count as silage, even if we were playing on seasons. I know it's a silly mechanic, but wrapped silage bales count as silage immediately. Whereas if you put it in the silage clamp, you've got to wait three months, whatever your timing in game is. Um, for it to turn to silage. Come on, get into there. You get off that bale. There's six on here. And we'll go and take them over to the barn. And we'll take the three off the top end of the field here. Need to grab that one, but it'll do. Right, transport position. Also press B. Now, is the train coming? Can I cross this road? Cross this ro railroad. Oh, maybe not. Oh crap! I hope the train don't come now. Maybe crossed it a bit early. Get off the tracks, guys. There we go. Right, and we'll go around the um, by the harbour, by the docks, because it does feel like it's a quicker route rather than going cross country. These case seventy two hundred or seventy one hundreds, seventy two hundreds are great tractors, absolutely fantastic tractors, the best value in the game at the moment for a medium tractor. Um, they go up to 261 horsepower, which will pull pretty much most tool. Every tool that does not require a large tractor can be pulled by these tractors. Um, and the ones that require a little bit more horsepower than the 261, so let's say they need 270 or 280, even 290 or 300. But the twin wheels on these, so eight wheels in total, and they will pull them no problem on most fields. Steepest fields on Felsbrunn, they won't manage it going uphill, directly uphill. Um, especially the big uh, cultivators and ploughs. But pretty much everything else, everywhere else, they'll do it without a problem. They are really are fantastic tractors. I 
can't remember, is it that slip? No, it's not that slip road, it's the next one, isn't it? Yes. It's a shame it started raining, because we could have uh, could have gone down the beach for an ice cream on one of these journeys. And I'm only going to do drive the one journey in real time with you. The rest of them, um, I'll cut them out, and we'll just do a cut from the field to the um, barn with the final delivery. Looks like we're going to have some seriously heavy rain. So while I'm just driving into the barn, have a note of the cash at the top, 152,605. As we start delivering the bales off that one field, which were straw, but we've wrapped them as silage and watch the money flow in. And in order to collect the, the straw from a contract like that, you need to have um, a mod installed, which is a gameplay mechanic mod rather than an equipment mod. I believe its full name is Collect Straw at Missions. Because uh, normally you can't pick up that straw in, in just pure vanilla. You, you cannot lift that straw from the field because it does not belong to you. You're only there to cut the crop and harvest the crop. Look at all the weeding that we're going to have to do. Rawr. Weeding is easy money. Uh, I believe this is the one up to the barn, isn't it? Yeah, because there's the scrapyard. That uh, telegraph pole is in exactly the wrong position. Yeah, 7250 rather than the 7210 would have been the better bet for hauling this heavy load of, uh, of bales up this hill. This is where the 7210 is hurting a little bit. It's only got the little engine on. It's only got the uh, the 180 engine. So what I might do is go back via the yard and swap to the 7250. And I made a pig's ear of that. Now, swapping to the 7250 won't gain us any speed on the flat stretches, but it will certainly gain us speed on the uphills. Right, so, Y, unload bales, or B, operating position. Y, unload bales. Y, unload bales here. There we go. 43,852 we got for that one load. Picked us up to just shy of 200,000 in the bank. And I reckon there's another seven or eight loads on that field on this small trailer, which can only carry 18 bales. So, we best get on with it. And I'll see you as we're lifting the last bale from the field ready for the journey across here and we can look at the total in the bank at that stage so remember after that first delivery we're just shy of 200,000 and I said earlier how much we had in the bank before that deli delivery it was just over the 150,000 so we'll see what we where we get to I'll see you soon okay ladies and gentlemen here we are we're on the final half dozen bales I'm done Less trips than I thought to clear the field. I think it was, I can't remember if it was three or was it four already? Uh, oh, yes, we will. Suddenly thought for a second there we wouldn't have space for the last bale. 
There we are. Yes, we have. Right, so, operating uh, transport physician. And once we've sold these bales, we'll close the contracts down and we'll check what the grand total for last night and this morning's work was. Bearing in mind, we did buy a few vehicles and trailers and things. So, we we'll have to take those into account as well, because we'll have them for the future. And that potato field that we were sowing overnight, not only sprouting, it's covered in weeds as well, so we might get a weeding contract for it. That would be nice. And this one. Lots of, lots of fields covered in lots of weeds. I found a shortcut back. You saw me cut over the railway lines there. Cut up between these two fields, four and five. Swing round. Over this bridge. Brings us out at the end of field eight. And we can cut along the road that goes past the BGA entrance. Oh, and while, while we're here, er, quick, screecher brakes. Look at that. Up that gorge. Isn't that lovely? Oops. Don't put it off the bridge. That would be embarrassing. Look at that. Absolutely superb. I don't know how many of you stop and look around maps. Look, there's a path there that we can go down. We can actually get right down onto the riverside down there. On both sides. Amazing, huh? Absolutely amazing. Might do that one episode later. Take a drive down there and have an explore around there. Probably need to get a decent... F well, we could use one of the tractors, I suppose. Although... They're expensive vehicles to risk down there. <laughs> uh, anyway. Yeah, so... At the moment, we're sitting on 327,500. Which is quite a jump from the 50-odd thousand that we had before we started um, closing out the contracts and pulling in the bales uh, at the beginning of the episode. Roughly a seven times increase, just less than seven times increase. By the time we drop these ones off, we'll easily be over the 350,000. And then when we close out the, the last two remaining contracts, we might be pushing on 400,000 in the bank which is about the minimum the barest minimum for me to change out the combine harvester for something bigger with a, a wider header more capable of handling the big fields instead of having to borrow equipment all the time change camera view as we come down here Helps to see under the trees. So this is episode 10. The series. And right back at the beginning I said there would be about 10 episodes. Maybe a couple more. I'd like to hear your points of view. Are you, um, are you happy with the series? Do you want to see it continue on? Or do you want me to switch and show something different? Maybe change maps. Maybe change gameplay style. Maybe go to a more survival or start from scratch type uh, scenario. Maybe start big. Start with a fully developed farm and all the big equipment to go with it. Let me know. Post it in the comments. And uh, don't worry about choosing maps. I've got plenty of maps hidden up my sleeve that we can play with. Uh, the one map that I probably won't do a series with is Felsbrunn, the other map that comes default with Farm Sim 19. It's getting a little bit late in the day. Farm Sim 22 is on the horizon. And, um, you know, we, we need to have a look at some of these other maps that the modders make. Uh, partic particularly like to do an offbeat map. Um, 
I'd like to do at least one British map before F FS22 arrives. Uh, but I've got no problem continuing this series on in parallel with another series. Just let me know. What do you want? What do you think? Anything I should be doing that you would like to see on video? If there's anything that you want me to show on video that you maybe are having problems with in the game and you, you need somebody to, to help and guide you through it. Then... Yeah, I'm certainly willing to give it a go. I'm not... Not familiar with everything in Farm Sim. I'm only just starting to learn course play. And uh, although I've got Auto Drive installed, I've not used it yet. I'm still trying to work it out. Um, so, some of those types of mods... Yeah, there we are. I said we'd, we'd get over that. 359,000. I just pull out to the gate here. Close out the two contracts and see where we finish up. Oh, there's not a lot of money in them, in, in the actual contract himself. So there we are. We finished on call it three hundred and sixty-three thousand, three hundred and sixty-two thousand nine hundred and thirty-seven. We'll call it three hundred and sixty-three thousand from starting the episode on fifty-something thousand. So we've multiplied our money seven times in this episode. Good stuff. Gives us good fighting fund for continuing on, making some more money. Um, tractor in the trailer needs a very tiny service. Tractor only needs a splash of diesel tank to fill it up. Might as well do that before we put them away. Then a quick splash down with a power washer. That was one of the other fields that we did earlier. One of the fields I'm considering buying. I'll probably extend it a little bit if I do. It can come quite a bit closer to the road without being problematic. Probably get about an extra 25 to 30% um, flowable area on it. And I'm sure we've lost bales off there. I'm sure that was higher. Was that not up at about six or seven bales high? Weird. Now, the other thing that I've got to do here is, having swapped out the seed shed, put this um, multi-product shop in, uh, I need to put in a liquid fertilizer tank and a liquid herbicide tank which means that this shed's got to go. That's got the dry and wet fertilizer in it. Okay, actually, if that's got dry and wet fertilizer in it, I guess I only need to put the herbicide tank in. And we'll see. I'll have a think about it. Give these a quick splash. Get the bit of dirt off them. Mainly dirt from that dirt track go that goes past the BGA. I don't know if we'll get both of them to get their wheels in into here because it's a bit of a tight like a little alcove. Oh, don't we hit the fuel tank? Not good. Try that. Good. Repair on that. Quick repair on that. 
Excellent. Oh, splash. Fuel into here. filled up the other one and serviced it as well when we brought it back so there we are 363,000 call it after getting everything done it's a good a good improvement on our finances and there is still a load of contracts to do some of them very lucrative so, I'll have a look at them in a second before I close out the episode. As I said, don't forget. Let me know what you want me to do. And... Don't forget to... Um, whoa, 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 whoa. Where are you going? Where are you going? That's not quite right. Gonna have to go external view. Not sure what I'm doing wrong on that. That one. Something's stopping me getting back as far as I need to go. There's something. Hold on. There's something behind the trailer there. No, it's just that floor plate. It shouldn't be stopping us moving. There we go. That's better. Sometimes it's just visibility. Oop, stops you getting where you want to be. Anyway, as I was saying, let me know what you want me to do with the series. Uh, do you want me to continue it? Do you want me to switch to something else? What do you want? And while you're at it, don't forget, if you haven't already, click subscribe to the channel. Give the videos a like. Remember to leave comments. The YouTube algorithm algorithm is absolutely reliant on your interactions with the channel and videos in order to decide where they should rank in search. And if you don't interact with them, they're never going to turn up in search. It's that simple. I still think that track is not quite aligned right, but never mind, it'll do. So oh, stand out of the rain in here close out the episode there thanks everybody for watching hope you've enjoyed it see you next time i'm the gasbeard bye for now <laughs>